So this is just a quick overview of this session. Um, I, you know, when you, you can, there's several ways you can approach a session like this, and um, we, I tend to get things broken into different subgroups and and beyond that. So we have uh, backgrounds. Uh, it's not too crazy there. Um, hard effects. And this is how I, I have memory locations that I view certain pages of, of information, basically. Uh, There's a few tracks there. Uh, and the, the basic, or more like uh, the sound design elements here. And um, DTS has what's called a bed track where you can, uh, it's like a 7-1 bed track where you, could, you have your typical 7-1, and then you have objects on top of that. And we, I ended up making this all objects. I think it started out as a 7-1. Uh, it's just easier and fax, faster to mix that way, you know, especially four years ago. Things are coming along pretty well now where it's getting, it's getting better. The tools are, are, are really good at this point and, and makes it easier. But then it was, it was pretty difficult. So we, uh, we would start in 7-1 and do a pass that way, probably I would say a day or so I think we took to do the 7-1 pass. And then we would convert it over to the uh, DTS. I'd copy a lot of the pan info because I do a lot of panning in 7.1, and then copy that information over into the panner plugin, which I will show. Let's find a sp good spot for. So here's a. Um, this is a when things are flying by, I think, left to right on, in front of the camera. So you, you see if I step through here, you can see the, um, this is the panning objects. And you, same thing for areas where it's going front to rear, I think later on in the show. And then it, uh, from that point, I only need to add additional um, height information. And there's several ways we can do that. Um, this is kind of the the box room view of the of the tool. There's also a dome mode where you can see all the speakers and how it's assigned. So I can I can go directly to a speaker or I can pan through the speakers. And these are the speakers on the ceiling here. And these are the side speakers and the back speakers and so on. So um that's the ba the basics of it. Uh, you have what happens is the uh, the audio is routed internally through an engine that uh, DTS has made. Uh, so basically, intercepts the the audio at the after the um, plugins here, kind of before the fader and, and the Pro Tools panner. So it intercepts the audio there and sends it to its own in, kind of mix engine, and then that will output out of these uh, MDA buses. So you can see, I actually have more than that for the channels that we have in this room. There's um, f four eight-channel buses for to, to hit all the speakers, essentially. And from here, you can select different formats. This is the one made for this specifically for this room uh, with all the sp you know, 20 or so speakers, I guess. And I can switch to any of these formats, and, and it basically downmixes it in, in uh, real time. Yeah, because it's really just positional information. It's not necessarily a downmix per se. It's positional information in the, say, 7.1 field or 7.1.4 in this case. Right. That, that's what I meant uh, initially when we talk about object based technology and what's the difference is that you, have to, you don't have to make a decision while you're mixing what the speaker layout um, is, since you you store all the information, all the positional information alongside the object, and then you basically give instructions to the renderer, and that is what Chris is currently doing, um, to just tell the renderer that's, that's running in the background, how many speakers do I have, and where do I have to um, distribute the sound to, so that it comes out of that location. Um, and maybe you can just play back one, one piece and, and solo that if you have something that's flying through the room, where we can use all the speakers and then switch between uh, how this would sound in seven one and seven one four that that might be good for the audience yeah to, to hear. so this is a I believe this is an object here 
So it kind of starts there and then goes around to the side. This, I think, is one of the sparks flying off the machine after it hits that meteorite or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that was in. So as you can hear, it, all the um, speakers getting hit there as it goes through. And if we go to say seven one four, so this is this will be slightly different in the way it sounds. And even five one. So it's definitely less positional at that point. Uh, really makes a difference to have those objects going. You really feel it kind of passing through the room.